Signature Bank is a New York-based full-service commercial bank with 30 private client offices located in New York and Connecticut, and one in California Signature Bank's specialty finance subsidiary, Signature Financial LLC, provides equipment finance and leasing. Signature Securities Group Corporation, a wholly owned bank subsidiary, is a licensed broker dealer and investment advisor offering investment, brokerage, asset management, and insurance products and services. Topic overview Signature Bank offers business and personal banking products and services. Its specialty finance subsidiary, Signature Financial, provides equipment finance and leasing. Signature Securities Group Corporation, a wholly owned bank subsidiary, is a licensed broker-dealer, investment advisor and member of FINRA and SIPC, offering investment, brokerage, asset management and insurance products and services. It has been dubbed NY's most successful bank by Crane's New York business and was ranked as the best business bank, best private bank and best attorney escrow services provider by the readers of the New York Law Journal in the publication's 2018 survey for the third consecutive year. In the survey, it was also awarded second place in the best private bank category. In 2015, Forbes ranked the bank as number one in its America's Best and Worst Banks evaluation. Forbes 2016 ranking of it as number six marked the sixth consecutive year that the bank was among the Forbes top ten. Additionally, Forbes has rated the bank as one of America's 50 most trustworthy financial companies. As of December 31, 2018, the bank had total assets of $47.36 billion, deposits of $36.38 billion, and loans of $36.42 billion. Topic. History Signature Bank was founded as an entrepreneurial startup in 2001. Founders Joseph J. DePaolo, the bank's current president and chief executive officer, Scott A. Shea, chairman of the board, and John Tamberlane, vice chairman and director, conceptualized the idea of a commercial bank that would cater to clients through a distinctive single point of contact approach. This client-centric model focuses on serving the needs of privately owned businesses, their owners, and senior managers, an underserved market overlooked by competitors. Upon inception, the bank began competing against some of the nation's largest too-big-to-fail megabanks by catering to this market niche. This has since become the hallmark of Signature Bank's model and growth as it continues to target and successfully address the needs of this market. The bank completed its initial public offering in March 2004 and began trading on the NASDAQ under the symbol SBNY. In 2018, the bank expanded its footprint and commenced operations on the West Coast with the opening of its first private client banking office in San Francisco, California. Topic. Locations. There are 31 private client office locations of Signature Bank, all of which are in the United States. Manhattan, 9. Brooklyn, 4. Bronx, 1. Queens, 4. Staten Island, 2. Westchester County, 2. Nassau County, 5. Suffolk County, 2. San Francisco, 1. Greenwich, Connecticut 1 Topic: Community involvement Signature Bank Building Improvement Initiative In 2018, Signature Bank awarded grants totaling $500,000 to community-based not-for-profits to provide the capital needed to improve housing conditions for those living in low-income housing apartments throughout New York. Each recipient received $100,000 to be used towards their respective buildings. The recipients were Banana Kelly Community Improvement Association Fifth Avenue Committee IMPACCT Brooklyn Southside United HFDC, Lost Shores Clinton Housing Development Company Signature Scholars Program Sponsorship 
In 2018, Signature Bank, along with the Stamford Peace Youth Foundation, sponsored an event in which students that were part of the Signature Scholars program got to hear from former NBA star Dick Barnett about the importance of pursuing higher education. Topic. Relationship with Trump family On July 13, 2018, The New York Times featured a full-length article on Signature Bank being the go-to bank to Donald Trump and the Trump family. The bank helped finance Trump's Florida golf course. President Trump's daughter Ivanka Trump served on Signature Bank's board of directors between 2011 and 2013, before stepping down on April 24, 2013. Over the past decade, Signature Bank provided loans to the Trump Organization with checking accounts while Ivanka Trump sat on its board of directors. Topic. Controversies Topic. Chinacast Education Corporation v. Signature Bank Chinacast Education Corporation filed a $35 million lawsuit against Signature for fraud, money laundering, and failing to stop transfers of money to a fictitious investment holding company in the British Virgin Islands with no legitimate business purpose. Approximately three months after the case was opened, Chinacast Education Corporation dropped the case against the three banks named in the lawsuit, Signature Bank, Bank of China, and HSBC Bank. A voluntary dismissal was approved by Judge Swain and the cases against both Signature Bank and Bank of China were dismissed with prejudice. Topic. West End Financial Advisors LLC Ponzi Scheme In early 2016, some investors filed suit against Signature after the company lost $66 million of investor cash in a Ponzi scheme run by William Landberg, a money manager who pleaded guilty to the crime. Investors allege that Signature helped Landberg by ordering him to shift money around dozens of accounts to cover up long term overdrafts. Landberg was sentenced to three and a half years in federal prison. Trump-related investigations Property transactions totaling more than $150 million financed through Signature Bank to President Trump's son-in-law and political advisor Jared Kushner and lawyer Michael Cohen are under review by New York banking regulators. Signature Bank received requests in 2018 from the New York State Department of Financial Services for records of its interactions with Kushner. Signature Bank is also under investigation for whether knowing that they plan to use improper tactics to push out low-rent tenants. Topic tenant harassment Signature Bank has been the center of numerous protests due to mistreatment of tenants by landlords the bank lends to. Despite these accusations, the Association for Neighborhood and Housing Development has applauded the bank's commitment to responsible lending practices as it pertains to low- and middle-income tenants. Topic. Economic Growth, Regulatory Relief and Consumer Protection Act Barney Frank, both a former U.S. Congressman 1981 and member of Signature Bank's Board of Directors 2015 -present, voted in favor of raising the Dodd-Frank threshold. He's also gone on record stating, My being on the board has not changed my position on this at all. These efforts began well before I began at Signature Bank. Signature Bank has provided financial support for re-election races for a number of U.S. Senators for their support of the Economic Growth, Regulatory Relief and Consumer Protection Act, according to Federal Election Commission data tallied by the Center for Responsive Politics. This bill exempted Signature Bank from post-crisis oversight rules. We find it ridiculous and unacceptable that by virtue of growing one day past $50 billion, we will be burdened with rules intended for the mega too big to fail banks, Scott Shea, chairman of Signature, said. <laughs> 